Hello guys, in this video we will see how to install and configure MySQL 8 on Kali Linux 2024. Then we will see how to connect to MySQL. First open terminal, MySQL comes by default or not. By running the command, sudo systemctl status MySQL. See, see by default MariaDB comes with Kali Linux. Now try to install MySQL 8 on this machine. Control L to clear screen. Now install the MySQL sudo apt get install mysql hyphen server. See here, MariaDB is conflicting. So I'm going to uninstall. See if you are working with MariaDB, you can continue. Or we can uninstall MariaDB and we can install the mysql. Okay. I have used this command to remove the MariaDB. I will keep this command in the video description. So we have successfully removed MariaDB. Now install MySQL by running the command sudo apt get install MySQL hyphen server. Type 5 for confirmation and hit enter. Provide the password for the MySQL community server. That is the password for root, root, root user. And use the tab and hit enter. Again, provide the password. Use the tab and hit enter. Use the tab for OK and hit enter. Again, OK. See, we have successfully installed MySQL 8.0.36. Okay, control L to clear screen. Let us verify status of MySQL service. sudo systemctl status MySQL. See, before it was given the MariaDB. Now, after purging and reinstalling MySQL, we have the MySQL service. Okay, queue to quit. See, service is stopped and it is disabled so okay, okay first we will start the mysql service sudo systemctl start mysql we have successfully started let us verify whether it is started or not sudo systemctl status mysql see we have successfully started mysql service 9 seconds ago q to quit now we have to enable this MySQL service and Kali Linux 2024. Why we have to enable is whenever we restart the Kali Linux server, every time we have to start MySQL service manually. So to avoid that situation, we are going to enable the MySQL service and Kali Linux. sudo systemctl enable MySQL. It is typo. It is done. Again verify whether it is enabled or not. sudo systemctl status mysql. See mysql service is enabled and its state is running. Okay. Q to kit control L to clear screen. Now we will see how to connect to mysql service. sudo sudo mysql hyphen u then username is root hyphen p then provide the password of the root user which we have provided. See we have successfully connected to mysql server. So databases See, these are the list of the databases comes with MySQL installation. Okay, let us create a database. Create. If you want to change the password of root user, you have to use alter user, then root at the rate local. Localhost identified by new password. Identified by password. Provide the new password. See, we have successfully set the password. Now, if you want to create the database, use the command create database R2 scores. Let us verify that again. Show databases. See, new database 
has been created successfully. If you want to create table, you have to switch to that new database. After schools, use after schools. Now database has been changed. If you want to verify the version of the MySQL, select version. See, we have installed MySQL 8.0.36 on Kali Linux. So now create a table, create table student s number that is student number int primary key s name where care 50 show tables before we don't have any table see we have created the table let us verify the data in this table it won't have any data because it is fresh data fresh table see empty set let us insert some data into this table insert insert into table name student values 100 james insert one more row let us verify the data in this table so we start from student student see we have the two rows so if you want to create a user, create user James identified by James we have successfully created users. Let us try with show users. See there is no command like show users to check the list of the users, but we can get the users by running select user from mysql dot user see we have created new user and remaining are the default users comes with mysql okay if you to quit if you want to exit from this mysql shell or mysql server use the exit command see we have exited if you want to restart mysql service sudo systemctl restart mysql We have successfully restarted. Let us verify status. See, we have restarted or started five seconds ago. Okay. Q to quit. Control L to clear screen. So in this video, we have seen how to install MySQL server on Kali Linux. Before that, we have removed the default MariaDB server, which is which, which was conflicting the MySQL. So then we have seen how to connect to MySQL server and create a database. And in that database, we have created table and inserted some data for more mysql videos kali linux tutorials please subscribe my channel thank you